I've noticed that I have some play in my compound slide. Now, when the Gibbs are adjusted properly with these screws, there's nothing back and forth this way. I can't feel anything. I'm sure there must be some infinitesimal amount or it wouldn't slide, but I can't feel anything. Going this way back and forth, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll be able to hear it. I've got slop. And I think that is the backlash on the screw that's attached to this handle, which I'm not sure how you could take a, the backlash out of that in a conventional way, but the easy way to do this might be just to put another screw right through right about here that has a handle on it and you can turn it and that's going to basically lock it up. Now you could use one of these screws to do that, but then when you were finished, you'd have to be readjusting the tension on the screw and locking the lock nut. And that's kind of a lot of trouble. Most of the time, I don't use this slide. So I'd be able to just turn this one that I'm about to put in the middle here, and it would be locked up for me. If I decide I want to use the slide, I just turn it the other direction, and I'm free to wind as far as I want to. So we're going to try this and see how it works out. I put a little mark right about here. That's midway between this and this screw. And these screw holes that go through to the gib don't have a whole lot of leeway back and forth in this direction. So I want to make sure I get my hole that I'm going to drill here. Uh, I, approximately in the same place. I mean, pretty darn close to the same line drawn between here. So what I've done is I've made up this little piece of, is a, was a piece of drill rod and I've turned it down just to a couple of thousand smaller than what I measured this at. This measured at 163 thousandths, the inside diameter here on the threads. So this is just a little bit smaller than that, just enough to let it fit in without scraping anything up. I'm going to put this in my chuck and then when I put it on my mill I'll bring this down till it fits in the hole and then I just have to wind over to where I'm going to drill this other hole and it should put me within a thou or two of where I want to be. And if you do decide to try this you have to watch out these little pieces of dowel here are will perhaps fall out maybe not but you don't want to lose them so be aware that they're there and when you're putting these screws back in you first insert the dowel into the hole and put the screw on top and uh, don't lose those i have already double checked to make sure that my vice jaws my rear vice jaw is parallel to the center line of the table so that uh, we don't get any error when we wind over about an inch to where we're going to drill a hole. This is my little pilot tool that I've made that should slide in here and I monkeyed around with it a little bit and uh, I got it going in pretty nice there. So I should be okay when I move over the approximate inch which is in between these two screws and uh, I can put a a screw hole right in the middle here for my locking mechanism that I'm going to make later. We're going to give this a touch with the center drill first. Just a little indentation to keep us on the mark. I'm going to be using a 1024 screw. Uh, don't have a whole lot of spare screws hanging around that are metric, so 1024 should work just fine. <laughs> The 
and I've tapped that hole all the way through to the other side. We greased everything up very nicely and we're putting all the screws back in, the original screws. And don't forget the little plugs. They got to go in the hole first before you install the screw in the hole. Oh, we got a little something wrong here. Now there was a little burr on the other end of that plug and it didn't want to go in the hole so we just took that off and sanded it down a little bit and should be okay now. Now we'll adjust these so we get some nice uh, little bit of resistance on this but not too much. And then we'll proceed to make the handle with the screw that goes into this locking attachment now. I made up a little brass knob here, knurled it, and then the, on this side here we've put a, a hole in here and I was able to find a drill that was just a few thousands smaller than the head on this screw is. And the screw is my 1024 screw that we're going to use to, uh, to make the, uh, the locking knot. So I've got some electronic cleaner here which does a nice job of taking any grease off anything. So we'll do that. And then we'll put a little Loctite on here just to make sure if we don't have a really good press fit it will help. And we'll take this over to the arbor press and see if we can't press that in. So there we've got it pressed in and I made up a little brass plug. The other ones had metal plugs so I made a brass plug that fits in first. And then we'll slide this in and get the thread started. Okay so our motion back and forth this way is still there. Now if we tighten up on that handle it's gone. I think this is going to work very nice.